What's up, nerds? Uh, little Big Robot's back with another video for you. It's a bunch of little things made of plastic. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about this cute, just adorable little model kit. Gundam Breaker Battle Log Goof Coat Crimson Custom. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, she's pretty, pretty short name for a uh, Gundam. Usually they're like, you know, 12 sentences long. Um, this is from the animated miniature series, miniseries I guess you call it, a little uh, uh, video series over on uh, Gundam.info, so just if you go to YouTube, Gundam.info, watch this, it's called Gundam Breaker Battlelog, it's six mini episodes designed to sell you toys, and boy do they, so go go watch those real quick because I might be talking a bit about it, so if you want to avoid spoilers, pause now, Pew. now come back, okay, so this is basically in the series, I'll just explain it relatively quickly, the mean guy makes a bunch of gunpla to fight the good guys, and these gunpla um, are virtual. Um, whereas with Build Fighters Try and all those, you actually piloted the little physical, you know, toys. And this one, you're actually piloting like a, a VR version. And he creates a bunch of these to fight. He creates four of them, and each one is piloted by a different AI based on different uh, famous pilots. From the, from the Gundam franchise, you could guess who would pilot that one. I think it's the, the masky guy. Here, I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'll pause that there. And you can see, you can just read that all you want. Isn't that nice? Okay, so it's it's a, um, this line is, each, each time they come out with one of these more kind of, quote unquote, simpler kind of lines, or ones that are a little bit easier or whatever, you know, they're not so detailed. Every time it's been a pleasure to see because they slowly and s slowly, but but surely, get the instruction come out better everything comes out more clearly everything works well so what i decided to do you also get this which i thought was kind of cool just like a little ad for gundam markers it's kind of fun you know i don't use the markers much but i have and they are they're kind of fun if you haven't gotten any yet get some of the gundam markers they're kind of fun to play with um but basically um i just to, to get i've got about 30 billion things in my backlog so to get through it I've decided just to build these as just snap literally cut them out some I'm not even fixing the little um, seam lines or not seam lines I should say but little uh, nub marks and stuff I'm just, just cutting them out I might razor a few of them down but I'll pr if I ever do anything else with these later I, it would be to um, oops there you go it would be to uh, paint them and if I paint them then I'll, I'll be you know I'll be definitely um, uh, fixing all that. See, it, it's, it's already falling apart. Let's just let's just take that off. Let's just take that off. And actually, let's put it back on. So this one is the one piloted by this guy in the in the hat thing, and he's he's a mean AI and stuff. It's it's a fun little series. You, you should check it out. But what's really cool about these is they're trying to encourage people. Look at this. It's pretty cool. They're trying to encourage people to swap the parts, kind of like they've always done. But this is really pushing it to where you can really you know easily do it quote unquote that doesn't excite me as much because i like that they do that because most people i find that get into this stuff uh, end up one of the first things they want to do is customize them so they'll find ways of, of assembling kits and putting together kits that had no business going together do you know what i'm saying so they this is not it, it's not really swapping parts is not something really new to uh, Gunpla or to Gundam. It's been around for a long, long time. And of course, customizers have been customizing parts since the beginning, but this just makes it a bit easier. Um, so far, I've built now two of these. I'm gonna start a playlist with, or it will, this, these will be in my um, Build Fighters, Try, whatever, all that stuff playlist, because that's my line I collect, the whole build universe. And this is technically part of it. Um, the build is really easy and stuff like that. It's not super challenging. But so far, both of the ones I built, they don't feel cheap. They just feel a bit, um, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for here. They don't feel as solid. Um, their joints feel nice and tight and solid, but the plastic itself feels a little bit more, um, I don't know, it's hard to explain. They're definitely fine. Um, and just in building it really quick, you'll see that even with just a little nut marks, it still looks pretty good. The gloss on the, on the red really hides a lot of that stuff. So it's these guys are really really begging for customization i guess is my point you can really tell i can grab the other one let me grab the other one real quick and i'll show you okay so this is the one i built last time this is another one in the series this is one of the good guys oops um 
And while it is poseable and fun and the wings are kind of interesting, I turned them uh, the wrong way. They're supposed to be up, facing up, but I was like, ah, screw it, put them down. Um, and you get a lot of neat little, you know, effects and stuff like that. They just, they feel like, I, you know, they make you want to take them apart and put them together, if that makes any sense. And I'm wondering if what happens is, I don't know if they've retooled a lot of this. Is, these are probably a lot of the same molds they use for a lot of these classic, classic ones with just some tweaks on it. Like this part is new, there's some new arm parts and stuff. Um, but I wonder if they, to tweak them to kind of all fit together, which is I guess the idea here, like I showed. You know, they want you to be able to pull them apart and just pop them together. Um, I'm wondering if they made some of the parts um, too generic-y or something. It's hard to explain again. If any of you know what I'm talking about in the comments, let me know. But essentially, you're supposed to be able to just, you know, pop everything together like this. Um, you know, and it works well, um, but you could kind of do that with gunplay anyway. So I don't really see that as the main kind of selling point of these. What I see as the main selling point of these is that there's a few, sorry for the blurriness. There's a few gimmicks and a few uh, new little things you haven't seen before. And then also you got stuff like the four-legged Barbaratos, bar Barbaratos, <laughs> Taurus, Barbaratos, there you go. Um, but I like that you can just, you know, pop, 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 pop. And then it's a little bit more um, designed for that. Like I said, all Gunpla can do that in some way. They don't fit that quick, that easily, but with a little finagling they do. But if if you're a, a new person getting into Gunpla and you pick up some from this line, you're definitely gonna be like, oh, this is a really neat experience being able to just pop these in and, in and out of my characters and not worrying about it, you know? And it's in there pretty good, but I'm, oops. <laughs> But, you know, I do, I do wonder, though, like I said, since they wanted to make all the joints compatible and everything, if they had, if they tweaked some things enough to the point where all of them feel sort of gummy, similar to each other, it's hard to explain. So they, they had to kind of generify some of these parts. But I love the look of them. This is cool. It's all done in red and everything. You can actually, I mean, this is typical, but you can take a little mono eye here and you can just, you know, turn it that way. You can just use a little adjustment like that. Back in the old days, it was really hard to do that stuff. Um, Posability is great, as you as you would expect with any one in one forty four scale uh, kit. They just now we're just so spoiled. They come so uh, standard with amazing like posing and fun stuff that you really um, you really um, you know just forget that that back in the day it wasn't nearly the case. This is a little weird. You do have these little tubes here that are connected that are inhibiting the movement but you could easily um, remove that in fact there's an alternative backpack let's see in here right in there it shows you if you're going to combine with this thing do this so it gives you options from the get-go so again really really cool little system um, i've got the entire first this entire line so what i'm going to be doing over the next few weeks oops well, that was not good. The piece falls off, and I don't know where it went. Um, <laughs> what I'm going to be doing next few weeks is I'm going to be slowly building this entire line. Every two or three days, I'll have one out, and I hope to get through them in a couple months. Um, but again, I'm just kind of popping them together really quick, and other than a couple of the little nub marks, it's really a good-looking little model. You'll want to clean all that up if you do do if you do do a customization on the models. You want to, you know, razor all that down, sand it down, whatever you want. Um, but in general, it's a cool looking model. Just a little a wash or even some panel line and some, some uh, scratching on that thing. There was only two stickers with one, where th this one there were a lot more stickers. I don't know how common that's going to be, um, but not bad. It was a lot of fun to build. It came together in no time. I'm going to uh, keep going down this line. I'm really excited to because I've now built two out of, I think, the 10 or whatever, which includes the... Uh, American one, I, oh, so this is three, then I built three, the little American entry grade, which I absolutely adored, and then the rest of this line. So let me know if there's any other particular ones you want to see. I'm not doing them in any particular order because the series is done, so let me know. But otherwise, fantastic. Go pick these up. I paid $26 roughly at a local hobby store, so that's no shipping for each of these so far. $10 for the entry grade, so that gives you an idea they're about $25 a piece. For 10, so it's going to cost you, what, 250 or something to get all of them. But anyway, have a good day, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.